वेलकम अगेन टुडे वील डिसकस टाइटेनियम बेस्ड ऑर्गेनिक रिएजेंट्स सो टाइटेनियम इज ए ट्रांजिशन मेटल दिस इज फोर सीरीज सो इट इज फोर एस टू एंड थ्री डी टू सो दिस इज टाइटेनियम हेयर आफ्टर स्कैंडियम एंड दिस लो बैलेंस टाइटेनियम दैट इज वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर द जेनरेशन ऑफ स्मॉल रिंग्स सो दैट वाई इट इज कॉल्ड लॉर्ड ऑफ द स्मॉल रिंग्स and it was in this german journal uh, nacritin as dar came it 2004 52805 so first we'll discuss summary of titanium reagents so jigland nata catalyst which is nobel prize uh, so that we'll discuss then the general preparation and reaction of titanium complexes the metallative repe reaction reaction with nitriles reaction with imines then cooling of which reaction ligand exchange of titanium cyclopropanes with other added alkenes asymmetric cooling of which reaction intramolecular variant demagery modification access to cyclopropyl amines that we will see with amides so this is with amides then reactions with nitriles and last we will discuss reactions of titanium 3 and titanium 4 complexes nucleophilic addition to aldehydes macmurray coupling tebe reagent and neff reaction so first we will tell some things about uh, organo titanium compound so british pastor william gregor discovered titanium in 1791 and this is first row transition metal that we have seen earlier and the electronic configuration is argon 3d2 4s2 and common oxidation are plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 these are highly oxophilic and highly resistant to corrosion also high strength to weight ratio of any metal in unalloyed condition titanium is as strong as some steels most common use of titanium oxide in paints and sunscreen used to make surgical implants titanium oxidizes immediately on exposure to air forming passive oxide coating and these are common titanium complexes used in synthesis titanium tetrachloride which is colorless liquid and titanium tetra isopropoxide which is also colorless liquid and titus nosin dichloride cp2 titanium cl2 this is bright red solid this is commercially available and this is precursor for tebe reagent you can uh, prepare tebe reagent from this uh, titanosin dichloride so first we will discuss jigland nata catalyst named after carl jigler and julie nata is a catalyst used in the synthesis of polymers of one alkenes alpha olefins two broad classes of jigland nata catalysts are employed distinguished by their solubility so one will be homogeneous another will be heterogeneous heterogeneous supported catalyst based on titanium compounds are used in polymerization reactions in combination with co-catalyst organo aluminum compounds such as triethyl aluminum this class of catalyst dominates the industry on the other hand homogeneous catalysis usually based on complexes of titanium zirconium hafnium they are usually used in combination with a different organo aluminum co-catalyst methyl aluminum oxygen or methyl aluminum oxygen mao so this is the reaction if you have a terminal olefin with jigland nata catalyst you get a polymer and as i said earlier the 1963 nobel prize in chemistry was awarded to german karl jigler for his discovery of first titanium based catalyst and italian giulio nata for using them to prepare stereo regular polymers from propylene so now we will see the mechanism of this jigler nata polymerization reaction so this is the starting material cp2 titanium cl2 this is commercially available now if you react with this aluminum methoxyren then you get this chlorine is replaced by methyl groups and 
now the activation can be done on this complex and you get a vacant site because this can eliminate as a methane actually and then C 2 H 4. So, this is ethylene, ethylene comes and ethylene binds to the titanium and now migratory insertion happens this methyl group goes to the double bond a propyl group is generated and also a vacant site. Now, another molecule of ethylene can take up this vacant site and again the migratory insertion will happen. This propyl group adds to the olefin you get this again a vacant site is generated and like this way you get this one polymerization and with a olefin here ethylene and finally, what will happen this will go to a double bond. So, first this vacant site will be taken up this hydride and you get this one and the olefin polymerized olefin. General preparation and reactions of titanium 2 complexes. So, this is very important with titanium 2 chemistry titanous cyclopropane or titanous cyclopropene that we will see so, like isopropyl magnesium chloride 2 equivalent of titanium is added to an ethereal solution of titanium isopropoxide and then acetylene at minus 78 degree centigrade and the mixture is then started at minus 50 degree centigrade. The reaction most likely possible via ligand exchange reaction between a low valent titanium alkoxide and an acetylene. So, this is the preparation. So, isopropyl magnesium chloride this mechanism we will see later also. So, isopropyl magnesium chloride and ether and titanium isopropoxide then you get this titanous cyclopropane. Titana cyclopropane. Because two equivalent of isopropyl, so this will form O isopropyl, O isopropyl, and isopropyl group here, and here isopropyl group, and then then one isopropyl group will eliminate and generate this one titanous cyclopropane, which will be in equilibrium with this. And now, if you react with an alkyne, the ligand exchange will happen. Now, if you react with an alkyne, this propylene will eliminate and you get this titana cyclopropene, you can tell this titana cyclopropene. So, this is formed and this has been exploited in many reactions like this one this is 1 to bis diana and equivalent. So, this because carbon titanium bond you can break it if you put suitable electrophile like E 1 you can put here and another electrophile E i 2 di tri or tetra substitute alkenes you can prepare and this follows by this intermediate. Suppose, if you react with an electrophile then this kind of 5 membered uh, intermediate is formed. So, we will see details first we will discuss this one alkyne titanium O isopropyl to reactions. So, suppose this TMS and disubstituted alkyne if you put with titanium diisopropoxide 1.2 equivalent 2.5 equivalent of isopropyl magnesium chloride at minus 50 degree centigrade you get this titanous cyclopropene. Now, if you react to it secondary butanol S butanol then one equivalent minus 50 degree centigrade you get this and which in situ if you treat with iodine then you get the t, t, this one is substituted with iodine you get this one vinyl iodide and you can react with an aldehyde also then you get this allylic alcohol. So, this is the chemistry that alkyne can be reductively converted with titanium reagent to generate this and then you can do a substitute reactions here or addition reactions 
with iodine uh, as well as benzaldehyde to get this products. Also, you can do copper chemistry. So, then this is actually one two addition reactions like also you can do one four, one four addition like if you react with cyclohexenone, then this group is coming from here and this is the one four addition you get 53 percent yield. Also, if you react with this allyl bromide allied bromide then a substitution reaction. So, this is substitution reaction is happening here. So, this group is coming from the uh, titanium part and this is the product is forming actually. This was published in JAX 99. Cyclo trimerization reaction that is called metallative repair reaction. So, that is also exploited with this and here in this metallative repair reaction we will see three different alkynes are used three different alkynes are used and you can get benzene derivatives. So, this is an important reaction three different unsymmetrical acetylenes and one molecule of a certain metallic species which is titanium in the present case are combined together in highly controlled manner to give directly aromatic organometallic compounds as a single isomer. Like here this is disubstituted alkyne and if you treat with titanium isopropoxide 1.2 equivalent isopropyl magnesium chloride 2.5 equivalent you get this titanocyclopropene. This then reaction with this terminal alkyne here and ether minus 50 degree centigrade. Here what happens this one this carbon titanium bond breaks fast. So, the addition happens here and this is quite reduced selectivity as you can see. So, this adds here and like this. So, you get this 5 membered titana cyclopentadine intermediate and now again if you re react with this sulfonyl alkyne then this is the selectively this compound is formed the detailed mechanism we will show in the next slide. But if you see the reduced selectivity here also this bond is breaking and this is adding to here. And this intermediate if you put with iodine then you get this iodobenzene. So, this is iodobenzene is formed with substitutions also. Alternatively this one if you react with benzaldehyde what happens this reacts with uh, the carbonyl group and that oxygen cyclides with the ester. So, you get a lacton here and this compound is formed in 49 percent yield. So, this is very useful reaction and you can see the all alkyne component are present this was blue then red and the green all alkyne component are. So, this is an useful reaction. So, what could be the mechanism? So, this could be the mechanism that this the last step actually the sulfonyl alkyne that mechanism we will see. So, this one was formed titanocyclopentadine 4 and if you react with sulfonyl acetylene then you can think of a 4 plus 2 reaction this bicyclic intermediate might form and then this one is formed and this if you see this one this carbon titanium bond breaks and now the olefin will isomerize and you get this one and after that elimination of SO2 toluyl group you get this 6. Alternatively, so this titanium cycle uh, the carbon titanium bond of the titanium cycle 10 rearranges to a suitable uh, position such as 11 where the 1 to elimination of the sulfonyl group is feasible. Finally, the sulfonyl group was eliminated to see the equilibrium for the formation of aryl titanium compound 6. So, this is aryl titanium compound. that we have seen earlier this aryl titanium compound will form. Alternatively the insertion reaction also is possible like this one reacts with this and you get a this is insertion and then a rearrangement happens to get this aryl titanium benzene derivative. 
So with this, we can develop also facile preparation of various inter-aromatic compounds as a titanocyclopentadiene intermediate. So this cyclopentadiene intermediate, if you generate it as a titanocyclopentadiene pentadiene intermediate then it will be also useful and that is possible only with reaction with nitriles. So, this alkyne is there and then instead of other alkyne here we have put the nitrile, nitrile and this is the intermediate earlier it was carbon here. So, here it is as a titanocyclopentadiene. So, as a version this one and this also has been useful. So, if you react with the sulfonyl acetylene, you get pyridine. So, remember this nitrogen is here. So, that is why the pyridine derivative is formed and the mechanism will be similar, we will see in details also. And if you put another equivalent of nitrile, then you can get pyrrole. If you put an aldehyde, then you get furan this is furan and if you see this R4 is here. So, it is substituted furan. Alternatively, if you put this intermediate just with H plus then the hydrolysis of imine is uh, happened and you get this alpha beta unsaturated ketone, alpha beta unsaturated ketone. So, alpha beta unsaturated ketone is formed if you do not put another electrophile then you get this ketone and this work was published in JAX 2006. So, we will discuss first the mechanism of the formation of pyridine where the sulfonyl alkyne was used. Sulfonyl acetylene 14 was incorporated in the as a titanocycle 7 in a regio selective manner to give intermediate 16 a b. So, first this is formed we have seen earlier the as a titanocyclo pentadiene will be formed with titanium isopropoxide 2 equivalent of isopropyl magnesium chloride minus 50 degree centigrade with alkyne and an nitrile. After this you put this one and now this 4 plus 2 will happen and now this will be formed and this 16A which will be converted to 16B like earlier we have seen. And now the elimination of SO2 toloid group, so this is the elimination. SU2 toloid group with this titanium metallated pyridine derivatives. So, this way the SU2 toloid is eliminating this bond is in nitrogen titanium is breaking and you get a double bond that is the aromatization also. So, this is aromatization is happening here and you get this uh, titanium carbon bond here which can be of course, protonated to get this pyridine compound. For the furan formation, we have seen that you have to use another aldehyde. So, as a cyclopentadiene 7 generated from 4 and 6 was added benzaldehyde and the reaction mixture was gradually on to room, room temperature to give ADAC 48. So, this was the common intermediate titana as a titana cyclopentadiene and now if you react with benzaldehyde and here the benzaldehyde will add to this carbon titanium bond because this is more reactive. So, this bond will break and the benzaldehyde will come. So, this is the benzaldehyde substituents here and benzyl group is here benzaldehyde after addition and now if you put the acid what will happen? This alcohol will attack to the aluminum ion to generate this intermediate and then the aromatization will happen to give this furan. So, aromatization. Also one equivalent of ammonia is eliminated as you can see the ammonia is a living group here. So, you get a tetra substituted furan. So, this is very useful method to generate tetra substituted furan the alkyne, nitrile and an aldehyde. And now pyrrole we have told that if two equivalent of nitrile is used then the pyrrole formation happens and this is the mechanism. The compound is most likely produced by a double addition of nitrile to the acetylene complex 5-17-21 and the resultant ditartano cycloheptatine 6 was hydrolyzed to diamide 62 which underwent ring closure. So, this is formed 
and now 6 this is 6 the nitrile the nitrile is 6 so after this uh, common intermediate form and now the nitrile again is added 6 is again added and selectively as we have seen this bond will break and the here the addition happens and nitrile addition you get imine. So, this is the in clean intermediate di as a titanium cycloheptatine 60 is formed. So, here you can see two imine is present and now because this is a hydrogen is acidic. So, this kind of isomerization will happen of course, this is happening because of aromatization and now this uh, enamine will attack to the imenium ion that is what to generate this 5 member nitrogen cycle 63 and elimination of ammonia group followed by aromatization will give you pyrrol. Pyrrol carboxyaldehyde 61 is the final product. So, this is very important reaction pyrrol carboxyaldehyde. So, this is useful reaction if you use one equivalent of alkyne and two equivalent of nitrile then you can get this pyrrole with titanium chemistry. So, this is the acid mediated here finally. Now, we will see what happens with imine. So, instead of nitrile if you react with imine then again this uh, bond will break here. So, if TMS is there then this bond will break and you get a addition reaction and here you can put with iodine then this carbon titanium will be replaced by iodine. So, you get vinyl iodide, vinyl iodide and also this is alpha beta unsaturated amine, alpha beta unsaturated amine. So, imine is converted to amine and also if you put the acidic work up then this titanium bond can be break. Alternatively, you can put carbon dioxide, then you get a amide, cyclic amide, which is called lactam. So, formation of lactam is observed. So, this carbonic group is coming from carbon dioxide, and the double cyclization is happening to get this cycle. Now, we will discuss Kulinkovic reaction. This is also powerful reaction for the generation of cyclopropanols from esters. The Kulinkovic reaction describes the organic synthesis of cyclopropanols by reactions of esters with dialkoxy titanium reagents generated in C2 from Gigna reagents bearing hydrogen in beta position and titanium 4 alkoxide such as titanium isopropoxide. This reaction was first reported by Oleg Kulinkovich and co workers in 1989. So, here also the mechanism involves the titanium cyclopropane that we will see. So, if you have a ester and two equivalent of Gignard and titanium isopropoxide this you can use catalytic amount also 5 to 10 mole percent ether 18. So, this is room temperature reaction followed by acidic work up you get 10 to 99 percent yield of this compound. So, cyclopropanol and you can see this is two carbon homologation, two carbon homologation because these two carbons are coming from the Gignard and this is the ester part and this carbon is this carbon, carbonyl carbon become a uh, this is quaternary center, this is tertiary alcohol, tertiary alcohol is formed. Original reaction 1989 used a mixture of stoichiometric amount of titanium isopropoxide one equivalent ethyl magnesium bromide 3 equivalent and ester at minus 78 degrees to minus 40 degrees centigrade. And the catalytic version 1991 uses slow addition of ethyl magnesium bromide to equivalent to mixture of ester and titanium isopropoxide 5 to 10 mole percent at 80 to 20 degrees centigrade. So, catalytic version was developed later as you can see here and this was the paper initial paper and then the uh, catalytic version. And the scope of this reaction is very broad, different esters can be used as you can see here, this R 1 is shown in the red here. 
So, this is the cyclopropyl ester, this is benzoic derivatives like PCOET, ethyl benzoic. This is the functionalized esters, this is also substituted ester, this is alpha beta unsaturated ester, so like C double O O E T. And this part is coming from the Gignard and the TMS group containing OR group, amino group containing, phosphoryl containing and this the triple ester, so tri ester is present, so the starting material will be CO2 E T. CO2 ET and CO2 ET. So, chiral center will not be disturbed in this reaction. So, 3 cyclopropane ring is formed. Gignard scope cis geometry in the absence of chelating groups. So, this kind of Gignard you have to use, these two carbon will be there. So, the olefin formation will happen. And now, if you use this, so this starting material will be ET this this magnesium bromide suppose plus CH3 C double O O E T. So, this two will give you this product and this will be two equivalent. Also this one this is this kind of phenyl ethyl magnesium bromide suppose then alpha beta unsaturated here also functionalized, this is a acetal motif, acetal motif. So, this also is tolerable under the reaction condition. So, this is a chemical review 2000, there are the all details are discussed. Now, what will be the mechanism? So, the mechanism also involves like earlier the titan of cyclopropane, dialkyl, diisopropyl, oxotitan of complex. Okay, this was the mechanism first, the two, two alkyl groups comes from the Gignard reagent, this one is formed and after that elimination of this alkane, you get this titana cyclopropane. So, this is very important, titana cyclopropane. So, titana cyclopropane is formed. And now the insertion of the carbonyl group of the ester in the weakest carbon titanium bond leads to an oxa titan cyclopentane 2. So, this is formed. So, the weakest means this less substituted carbon titanium bond breaks and you get this. And this oxa titan cyclopentane being rearranged to ketone, of course, here this OR3 group will eliminate, minus OR3 group will eliminate, you get this or it will bind to titanium also and a ketone will form here. Mm -hmm. Lastly, the insertion of the carbonyl group of 3 in the residual carbon titanium connection forms a cyclopropane ring. So, after this, this bond will break. So, what we have seen here that this titanium cyclopropane, the both bond will break. So, first this bond is breaking to add to the esters and lastly the second carbon titanium bond will break so that the cyclization will happen and you get this the cycle again happens the displacement by the Gignard to generate this active uh, titanium complex and this of course ac acidic work cup you get this and this is also important that both group are cis to each other so cis cis compound is formed and agostic interaction stabilization between the beta hydrogen and the R2 group and the titanium atom was called upon to explain the dash to selectivity observed. So, this is very important, this is very much dash to selective reaction also. So, the cyclopropanol is formed as one isomer and the mainly the cis isomer is formed because of the agostic interaction. Ligand exchange of titanium cyclopropane with other added alkenes, this is very important because many times the Gignard reagent formation is not easy, then you can use alkene and then the exchange could be possible. Like here styrene two equivalent with ethyl acetate, ethyl magnesium bromide two equivalent titanium isopropoxide, this is catalytic ammo reflux 42 percent yield of 98 is to 2 cis trans. So, these two groups are cis to each other. And as you can see, the styrene motive is here. 
So, the ligand exchange happens. Yeah, this is the mechanism the titanium isopropoxide, twithyl magnesium, you get this one with one molecule elimination of this C2H6 ethane, you get this titan as cyclopropene. And now the styrene comes, styrene eliminates the olefin. So, because this one is in equilibrium with this. So, that proves that ligand exchange is possible. After ligand exchange, you get this styrene motif. So, phenyl substituted titan as cyclopropene is formed and now this carbon titan bond will break first to this addition and then the cyclization will happen to get this cyclopropanol. So, this ligand exchange is very much important this was published in 1993. However, for other alkene olefins ligand exchange not fast enough and better results with stoichiometric titanium and isopropyl magnesium X instead of ethyl you can use isopropyl also n butyl cyclopentyl magnesium and cyclohexyl. So, these are most useful that we will see in the next slide because it has to be this complex formation. So, this should be more stable than this. However, this equilibration is not always fast like some olefins fail to exchange as for example, one heptene ethyl vinyl ether likely due to unfavorable equilibrium. And what could be the solution? The solution would be strained precursor from cyclopentyl or cyclohexyl gignard. Like here, if you put this titanium isopropoxide with this one, cyclopentyl or cyclohexyl magnesium bromide, you get this. And now, this equilibrium will be faster. So, this cyclopentin elimination will be much faster and this reaction will be in the forward direction, the exchange will be in the forward direction. Like this one a chiral olefin, so this is a chiral olefin and if you see the structure there are three olefins, motifs are present. And now with this condition with ethyl acetate, cyclohexyl magnesium chloride 4.5 equivalent, titanium isopropoxide 1 equivalent, only this terminal olefin reacts and you get this product selectively in 42 percent yield. So, what happens here? The exchange happens with cyclohexyl magnesium chloride. First this complex will form, then this olefin will react here to generate this substituted titanocyclopropane which reacts with the ethyl acetate to generate this cyclopropanol. This was published in JAX 1996. Now, intramolecular variant also is possible. So, here ester and olefin in same molecule. So, this exchange can be exploited particularly for intramolecular version because here the gignard immediately react with the ester. So, for this system intramolecular variant only ligand exchange will be useful. So, here you can react titanium isopropyl magnesium chloride to get this and now this complex which form titan and cyclopropane the bond which is close to ester that bond will break. So, this bond will be break first to generate this and now the elimination of ethoxide this is substitution will happen this carbon titanium bond will attack here to eliminate o ethoxide to generate this cyclopropanol. And this method has been used for a variety of bicyclic cyclopropanols like this kind of system bicyclic cyclopropanol. Here the X can be carbon nitrogen, N can be 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So, it can be cyclopentane, cyclohexane, cyclohepatene. Like this example you can see 75 percent yield of the cyclohexane. This is fuse system 94, this is 98 percent yield and this is 88 percent yield. So, different kind of bicyclic cyclopropanol can be formed and these are the papers JAX 1996 from Char group, Sato group 1997 also 1996. Asymmetric cooling which is also possible and here you have to of course use a ligand and Kore group use this Tadol derivative. So, with ethyl acetate, 
फिनाइल इथाइल मैगनेशियम बोमाइड टू की वैलेंट टाइटेनियम जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू वन इक्वाल रूम टेम्परेचर थ्री आवार्स एंड उथ दिस टाइटेनियम कॉम्प्लेक्स सो हुईच इज पॉइंट थ्री टू वन इक्वालेंट स्टॉकोमेटिक अमाउंट और थार्टी मोल पार्सेंट एंड दिस ए आर आर थ्री फाइव बीस टाइफ्रो मिथाइल फिनाइल सो दिस इज द टैडल डेरिवेटिव एंड यू कैन गेट सिक्सटी फोर पार्सेंट सेवेंटी एट पार्सेंट इ टू जेनारे दि सैक्लोपोपानल हेयर अल्सो दिस स्टीडियोकेमिस्ट इज मेनटेन दिस वज पब्लिश इन जैक्स नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर एंड अनदार वेरियंट वज डेवलप्ड हायर द भिनाइलगस एस्टर हेज बीन यूज इन दिस कुलिंगोविच रिएक्शन सो दिस इज कल्ड भिनाइलगस एस्टार भिनाइलगस एस्टार बिकज बिटुईन दिस देर इज ए डबल बंड हेयर एज यू कैन सी हेयर एंड इफ यू पुट दिस गिगनार्ड उथ टाइटेनियम आइसोपोपक्साइड इन टोलोइन एज ए सल्वेंट दें दिस सैक्लो प्रोपानेशन हैपेन्स सो नट सैक्लो प्रोपानल सो दिस इज सैक्लो प्रोपानेशन सो उल सी द मेकानिजिम एंड दिस बिकम्स किटोन अल्टारनेटिवली इफ यू यूज कोअर्डिनेटिंग सल्वेंट लाइक टी एच एफ सो टी एच एफ इज कोअर्डिनेटिंग दैट उल सी इन द मेकानिजम अल्सो दिस इज कोअर्डिनेटिंग सल्वेंट सो इन कोअर्डिनेटिंग सल्वेंट यू गेट प्रोडक्ट लाइक दिस एंड इफ यू पुट डी टू दें दिस डॉटेरियम कम्स हेयर दिस इज द इनोन कम्पाउंड सबसुटेड इनोन बीटा सबसुटेड इनोन दिस वज पब्लिश इन अर्गानिक लेटर्स टू थाउजेंड फोर सो द मेकानिजम उल बी फर दिस फर्मेशन फार्स दिस द टाइटाना सैक्लोपोपेन सो दिस टाइटाना सैक्लोपोपेन रियक्स लाइक दिस वे टू द कार्बनल ग्रुप दिस कार्बन टाइटन बॉन्ड उल ब्रेक टू गेव दिस फाइव मेम्बार्ड रिंग हेयर एंड देन उथ लुइस एसिड यू गेट दिस so this happens isomerization here and this one breaks so alkoxic group is breaking here and that is going to carbonyl with titanium and now now this this one will cyclize this this carbon titanium bond will break and this will add here because okay, this is now electrophilic carbon this carbon titan bond will break so you get the cyclo propanation and this double bond will be here here alternatively if you use coordinating lewis basic solvent such as thh then what happens this coordination happens with thh and this becomes stable so this becomes stable and after d2o only it breaks so this oxygen titanium carbon titanium bond will break and you get this what tertiary alcohol this is tertiary alcohol this form so in non coordinating solvent the cyclopropanation happens but in coordinating solvents the intermediate gets stable and then the hydrolysis of this intermediate gives the tertiary alcohol so this tertiary alcohol if you put acid then the hydrolysis will happen that this enol ether will go to carbonyl because it will deprotect first enol and then uh, tautomerization water will eliminate because there is a hydroxy group so water will eliminate you get a double bond that is the alpha beta unsaturated ketone d majorly modification the majorly also develop a modification and that is using amides we will see the tertiary amides only so if you have a tertiary amide with identical condition ethyl magnesium bromide two equivalent and titanium isopropoxide one equivalent ether solvent after that acidic warper you get this cyclopropyl amine cyclopropyl amine so this is the mechanism that here also titanium cyclopropane is formed and this happens the addition happens to the amide and now if you have a tertiary amide then this nitrogen is more lewis basic so this nitrogen will push electrons to break this carbon oxygen bond 
and after this breakage then the carbon titanium will attach to the aluminium so this is aluminium ion because there will of course a positive charge here and this aluminium ion on cyclization give this cyclopropyl amine uh, and this will eliminate so this method requires stoichiometric titanium isopropoxide for useful yield because this is the uh, formation from titanium isopropoxide diastroselectivity is generally lower than with esters can use ligand exchange to generate active titanium cycles that we will see disubstituted alkenes and cycloalkenes react can easily access primary amines by catalytic debenzylation that we will also see that tertiary amine you can do if it is a benzyl group easily with hydrogenation condition you can debenzyl so these are the uh, scope of this reaction so here you can see this coming from the amide so this ome cu n n b n 2 is the amide here also this is the amide part so you have to put a carbonyl group and this is of course the ligand exchange that we will see this also ligand exchange this ligand exchange this is this was the amide and here also this was the amide so h c o n b n 2 formamide formide is the here you get 26 percent yield and the reduced electricity is not good so this is the ligand exchange that we are calling this was the formide and this is the uh, five membered as a cycle this will do the exchange because high titanium isopropoxide is 1.2 equivalent and this is the Gignard so here the uh, cyclo uh, propanation will happen with this cyclohexane magnesium chloride 2.5 equivalent as we have seen this will eliminate like this cyclohexane so the ligand exchange will happen you get this one the product this is the bicyclic bicyclic amine bicyclic tertiary amine is formed which under hydrogenation condition h2 palladium charcoal you get a primary amine so this becomes primary amine now and this kind of structures are present in many natural products such as this compound this is antibiotic compound Trovan looks seen, Trovan. So, you can see this motif is present, and this motif can be easily obtained from this Majiri variant. So, this is Majiri variant of Kulinkovich, and here the ligand exchange happened so that you get this one bicyclic compound in 87 percent over two steps to greater than 2 is to 98 dr so here the for this case the diastro selectivity is good and cis compound is formed so cis compound now we will see the reaction with nitriles so this is called simoniac variant with nitriles you get this five membered Titana cycle and with BF3 what happens this imine generally will not cycle because this imine is not activated enough so that this will attack but if you put BF3 then the cyclization will happen because BF3 will activate the aluminium ion and the cyclization will happen to generate the cyclopropyl amine cyclopropyl primary amine you get directly here earlier we have seen tartan amine was forming here primary amine if you do just hydrolysis you get a carbonyl because this amine gets hydrolyzed and if you put ethyl magnesium bromide excess then you get ethyl addition also to get a amine so this is quaternary center quaternary center is formation happening this ethyl is present already here and another ethyl coming from the gignard this was published in came 2001 this is very important that nitriles variant of the Kulinkovich reaction 
Now we will discuss titanium 4 chemistry. So, first titanium 4 mediated addition of nucleophiles to aldehydes exhibits excellent stereocontrol. The attacking nucleophile is either ligand of the activating titanium complex or an additional reagent. The stereoselective results from the bias of titanium center, for example, asymmetric allylation of aldehydes and in reaction mediated by chiral titanium complex provide the corresponding homoallyl alcohols with excellent enhanced selectivity. Like here, this is the overall reaction the titanium complex that can activate because this is Lewis acid also. So, it can activate carbonyl compound and this nucleophile can be internal from the titanium which are bind to titanium we will see like allylation you get this compound the addition product and external nucleophile like in reaction we will see you get this product which nucleophile is adding outside this example is in reaction we will see and this is allylation reaction. So, this is the allylation so, in this case actually the trans was used or so trans alloy lithium, trans alloy lithium and this is the tadal derivative with titanium you can see here one chlorine is there of course, which will be displaced by this lithium to get this intermediate. And now, if you react this is a chiral, chiral allyl titanium, chiral allyl titanium is formed here and now if you react with aldehyde after work up you get this product. So, this is anti product is forming anti product in uh, 95 to 98 percent E R R dash can be alkyl aryl alkyl alloy. So, different substances can be tolerated also this is this is tadal based tadal based and this is binal based binal based what happened the formation is little bit tricky if you put titanium like y is equal to hydrogen y is equal to hydrogen is binal titanium isopropoxide this but you get very less yield this is in, but E is good and also with dry molecular sieve also the yield is not good. Also with this one titanium chloride you can get a product but the E is dropped here 53 percent 31 percent yield. And it has been found that if you use wet molecular sieve 4 angstrom with titanium Cl2 OI PR hold 2 of course, you get this binary titanium active catalyst is better yield. So, like this you have to use wet molecular sieve or water wet molecular sieve is important and then you get this binary titanium active catalyst and this active catalyst then you can use for in reaction. So, this is the in reaction. This is a double bond and this is the keto ester and this addition is happening. So, this hydrogen will add to carbonyl that is called in reaction and you get this product in 97 percent yield and 98 percent E. So, this is a very useful reaction. Now, we will discuss McMurray coupling. McMurray reaction is an organic reaction in which two ketone or aldehyde groups are coupled to an alkene using a titanium chloride compound such as titanium 3 chloride and a reducing agent. The reaction is named after its core discoverer John E. McMurray. The McMurray reaction originally involved the use of a mixture of titanium Cl3 and lithium aluminum hydride which produces the active reagents. Related species have been developed involving the combination of titanium Cl3 or titanium Cl4 with various other reducing agents including potassium zinc and magnesium we will see the mechanism with magnesium. This reaction is related to the pinnacle coupling reaction which also proceeds by reductive coupling of carbonyl compounds. So, this is the reaction to carbonyl compounds with titanium chloride Cl 3 or Cl 4 as well as reducing agents. So, reducing agent like lithium sodium magnesium zinc lithium aluminum hydride zinc copper couple to generate the olefin. So, this is olefin is formed like pinnacle coupling here and the reductive coupling can be viewed as involving two step first is the formation of pinnacolate complex step which is equivalent to the pinnacle coupling reaction. So, this is from titanium chloride zinc copper couple this ring is from three member ring and now the carbon carbon bond formation will happen. 
so like pinnacle coupling to generate this one which if you put zinc copper then one chlorine will displace it will be two chlorine here and this will elimination the second step is the deoxygenation of the pinacolate which yields an alkene this second steps exploits the oxophilicity of titanium so if you heat then this elimination will happens and you get the olefin so this step is very important this is the carbon carbon bond formation by this so this carbon or titanium bond will break this can attack to the carbonyl and you get this intermediate cross mcmurry coupling also is possible if you use two different aldehydes like this and this aldehyde then with cp2 titanium chloride and with manganese eight equivalent thm reflux 77% yield of this product so this is very important and you get this trans product in 77% yield this was published in jacks 2010 so this mechanism with manganese is described here though this is an homo uh, coupling to get this uh, trans olefin here also is forming so what could be the mechanism no cp2 titanium cl cp2 titanium cl2 with manganese it become manganese chloride and it becomes titanium 3 cl so this is the active reagent now it reacts with the aldehyde to generate this carbon carbon bond formation happens here and again the manganese comes manganese become oxidized to mncl2 titanium 4 becomes reduced to titanium 3 like this then the elimination happens and generally the trans product is formed then this is formed this again reacts with a tms chloride to generate this cp2 titanium cl2 this was published in jax 2010 another reagent which is tbe reagent this is very useful reagent for conversion of carbonyl compounds to double bond ch2 like who degree as the tbe reagent is the organometallic compound with the formula c5h5 whole to titanium ch2 cl al ch3 whole to this is the structure and you can see there is a bridge ch2 as well as bridge chlorine is there and two atoms are present titanium metal atoms titanium and aluminum are there it is used in the methylation of carbonyl compounds that is converts organic compounds containing r2co group into the related r2c double bond ch2 derivative it is a red solid that is pyrophoric in the air and thus is typically handled with air free techniques it was originally synthesized by fred tebe at dupont central research tebe's reagent contains two tetra hedral metal centers linked by a pair of bridging ligands the titanium has two cyclopentadiene rings and aluminum has two methyl groups that we can see in the structure and the titanium and aluminum atoms are linked together by both a methylene bridge we have seen already chloride atom in nearly square plan and geometry tebe reagent was the first reported compound where a methylene bridge connects a transition metal and a main group metal aluminum so the preparation will see first the tebe reagent was prepared from this this is commercially available we already discussed in initial slide the cp2 titanium chloride is commercially available and that you can react with trimethyl aluminum which is commercially available to generate methane and this is the tebe reagent cp2 titanium ch2l cl ch3 whole to and this is the by product l ch3 whole to cl examples you can do different carbonyl compounds can be olefinated with this tebe reagent like aldehyde so this is the active species cp2 titanium double bond ch2 which is formed to generate to this we will see in the mechanism also you get the olefin aldehyde to alkenes ketones so this is aldehyde then ketones to alkenes is also possible then esters if you have a ester if you put this cp2 titanium double ch2 that is the tebe reagent ester to enol ether so this is not possible with hutig reaction maya hutig so this is very important 
that if you have a ester you can get enolithar with this stable reagent and also amide this is also not possible with hudig reagent so if you have a amide with stable reagent you get this enamines that carbonyl becomes double bond ch2 so these are very useful reaction and what could be the mechanism the table reagent itself does not react with carbonyl compounds but must first be treated with a mild lewis base such as pyridine which generates the active stroke carbene that is the double bond ch2 so this is form this is the stroke carbene this is the active species and it will break like this and analogous also analogous to the hudig reagent the reactivity appears to be driven by the high oxophilicity of titanium 4 the stroke carbene 1 reacts with carbonyl compounds to give a postulated oxa titana cyclobutyl intermediate like hudig reaction oxa phosphate and here oxa titana cyclobutyl this cycle intermediate has never been directly isolated presumably because it breaks down immediately to the product to produce the desired alkene so this is the reaction shock carbene reacts with the carbonyl to generate this cycle oxa titana cyclobutane and this so you can think that a double one titanium double one is forming and the olefin is generated here like hudig reaction and in hudig reaction you get the phosphine oxide here you get the titanium double one oxide and you get the olefin and lastly we will discuss neph reaction that is also powerful reaction to convert nitro compounds to carbonyl and we will see that is the mcmurray variant conversion of primary or secondary nitro alkanes to aldehydes and ketone and mcmurray modification using titanium chloride in water glime so this is glime structure so in water glime and titanium chloride also the ph is important ph has to be below 7 then you can get this nitro to carbonyl also if you have alpha beta unsaturated nitro compound then also it goes to carbonyl compound and what could be the mechanism so with base or acid you get this uh, isomerization to get this n uh, oxide and now titanium chloride pH 5 to give this intermediate which goes out to give this oxime. So, this is very important it goes by oxime and this oxime again in presence of acid you get this imine because this imine without substituent is not stable and immediately with water it will go to the ketone. So, NEF reaction is a powerful reaction for the conversion of nitro compounds to carbonyl compounds. This was published in JOC 1973 38, 4367 is the page number. So, today we have discussed the titanium based reagents, first we have discussed titanium 2 and we have seen the Ziegler Natta catalyst where the olefin is converted to a polymer compound with this Ziegler Natta catalyst that is a very useful reaction and Ziegler Natta got the Nobel Prize. Then we have seen the repe reaction and in the repe reaction we have seen the three alkynes can be used, three alkynes gives the benzene derivatives. Also we have seen the nitrile variant and with nitrile we have seen that you can generate pyridine also you can generate pyrrole when two equivalents of nitriles are used then pyrrole is formed and if you use the benzaldehyde or aldehyde derivatives then you get the furan. And then we have seen the titanium 2 chemistry for the cyclopropan null formation which is called the Kulinkovich reaction and in the Kulinkovich reaction an ester is converted to cyclopropanol if you use two equivalent of Gignard and this method is very useful the product is formed selectively also cis product is the major product. Then we have seen the variant of Kulinkovich that is the asymmetric variant we have seen that titanium tadal complex can give the asymmetric product 
<laughs> and also we have seen the vinyloga sester also can be used and you can get different products depending on the solvent if toluene is there then you get the cyclopropanation on the other hand thf you get the alcohol product also we have seen the uh, d majori variation that in the d majori variation the amides are used and tartary amides are used that that case you get the cyclopropyl amine and this in benzyl group can be deprotected with palladium uh, hydrogenation condition you get the primary amine and this also we have seen that in here the diastereal selectivity is little bit less and like kulinkovich reaction here also ligand exchange is possible and different olefins can be used to give this bicyclic cyclopropyl amine then we have seen the reaction with nitriles and nitriles with gignard we have seen that if you use bf3 then also cyclopropyl amine is formed alternatively if you hydrolyze you get the ketone alternatively if you use the gignard reagent you get a amine primary amine with a quaternary center and lastly we have seen the reaction of titanium 4 and here the addition to aldehyde derivatives we have seen also the asymmetric variation we have seen the internal nucleophile like allyl you can give the product in high yield also we have seen the external like in reaction we have seen that you can get the high enantiomer selectivity for the product then we have seen the mcmurry coupling carbon carbon bond formation and a olefin is formed and the mechanism is similar like pinacol coupling and here a reducing agent is agent used like lithium aluminum hydride manganese magnesium and zinc copper couple to give this olefin then we have seen the um, nef reaction in the nef reaction we have seen the nitro compound can be converted to carbonyl compound and this is also an useful method here the titanium chloride and diglyme is used and in under this condition the oxime is an intermediate and you get the carbonyl compound in very good yield thank you